Okay, the next phase of the operation is installing the caliper mounting bracket. And as I've set things aside, I've set them aside um, with the fasteners required for it along with the device. That way everything I need to install each component is laying together. I keep the parts together, I know right where they go, which parts go with which. As you become familiar with doing this, as you've done it multiple times over and over again, you can rapidly identify what parts go together. But as you're just learning the process, if you keep everything together, it'll save you a lot of confusion, extra thought process, rounding up the right bolts for the application. It just makes the whole thing much simpler and easier to do along the assembly or disassembly process. To install it, I'm just gonna move that caliper back just a little bit, give me a little bit more room. It's gonna slide down in between the rotor and it slides down into a position on the backing plate there. And then you install the two bolts. They have 14 millimeter heads on them. I believe they're eight millimeter bolt. And you're kind of doing this by braille or feel. You can't really get back in there and get a good visual on it. You get it close to the location it's supposed to go in. Slide one bolt in when you feel it make contact with the open hole and threads. Um, just start the bolt threading, uh, fingers only. Um, in over 25, 30 years of working on automobiles, I've never been able to cross a bolt and start it with my fingers. Uh, that's something that happens when you use a ratchet, an air tool, or, or something, an ad device to start a bolt. Always start your bolts with your fingers. Once you get them started, then you can use air tools or ratchets that can uh, speed up on the, uh, the time of it or decrease the labor necessary to get the, the bolts in. But for the initial step to make sure the bolts are, are in there and not cross thread you always want to use your fingers. And I'm just going to go ahead and I got both bolts started. I'm going to snug them down with my fingers. Now use a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet. And I just snug up and just lightly tighten the first one. And then I tighten down the second one. And now I'll go ahead and tighten them down real tight. They had lock washers on them so there won't be a torque setting, but you want to get them good and tight. I'll lean into a little bit, applying a good bit of force to snug them down tight. Once again, keeping my body back, hand open in case of a slip off, I'm pushing forward to tighten. This is where a lot of stress can be applied. It's easy for that ratchet to slide off or round off that bolt head and allow your hand to slam into something. If you keep it open, you can spread that contact out. Now that I've got both bolts tight, I checked them twice. That'll conclude installing the caliper mounting bracket. Watch our next segment on installing the pads.